Hey guys, I wanted to show you a new component. I wanted to show you a package uh, from one of the guys who works at Framer. It's called Switch. The documentation is quite nice. Switch is an utility component that lets you switch between states of an element on a canvas using animated transitions. It comes with an an additional switch to state action component, which act as a hotspot that can change the current state of a switch without writing any code. Like there's a lot of examples, carousel, tooltip, toggle. Um, so it has some sort of step-by-step well -step. a lot of thingies <laughs> a lot a lot of things to maneuver it's that it looks a little complicated but i think it's kind of simple uh let's take a look okay so it comes with two different um it comes with two different components and as it says here, it comes with an additional switch to stay action component, which acts as a hotspot. So this switch to stay action is the hotspot. Let me just make a quick phone. I'm gonna go ahead and make this kind of. So I think what we need to do here is just create an element and then create another element here. This will be kind of like a button. And then we're gonna, so I think this is gonna be this guy. Uh, let me see. No states. Add view for each state by connecting them to the canvas. Okay. So I think what I need to do is put this guy here. Usually this is what, what happens with components like this, the transition between states. You have to put the frames outside of the, in the canvas. Uh, so let's just make this state kind of, mm, let's see what it's going to say. This is going to be a little roundy. Maybe I'm going to give it some color. Some crazy color. And then... We can call this green. And then it's going to be blue. What are we going to call this color? It's probably like a teal, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, so this is kind of not. That's okay, so we just have to readjust. And then, the same thing with this one. I think this one is, you gotta put it outside. And you kinda, I wanna measure, use this to measure. And then I just bring it in here and connect a little bit outside. And just for kicks and goggles, I wanna, Black. I'm gonna make this white. And if I press, nothing happens. And I think it's because if I have to give some direction, switch on tab. Okay, so I on the switch to state button. We're going to select one of them here, and I'm going to say on tab 
untap. I'm gonna say a specific state, a specific state name, previous or next. I'm just gonna okay. I'm just gonna put next, and then so it goes to the next states. Now I don't want it to go like that. So when I go over here to the switch component, I want to make the transition zoom direction aware. Let's see what happens. Whoa. So it comes from up above. That's interesting. Swap. So I think for that not to be visible on the other one, we just have to come over here, overflow, hidden. So when I press, it's kind of comes from underneath, but you kind of don't see it. I don't want that either. You have swap, you have slide direction aware. Mm -hmm. That still looks weird. I think the best thing is going to be auto animate. Mm -hmm. hmm. You're kind of controlling here. It's kind of interesting. I mean, that's not the only thing you can do here. Here you have some examples. Here you have some examples. Take a look at the example. Take a second to load the bottom sheet approach that we talked about in a second. This is similar to what we're doing. We we have low battery, but it doesn't matter. Then we also have the carousel, which I think is interesting. We also have the tabs. This is kind of more interesting for me because you see on the top, it doesn't move. So you can have a status bar on the top and as a difference to using the link where it just swaps the entire frame, this only interacts with parts of the frame. Here you have a tooltip. This is pretty self-explanatory. So you have the input and you use it as a hover. Then you have the tooltip. The toggle is also very interesting. The input is the circle. And if you want, you can have the switch on be green. So That's not really green, but we can make it more green. Yeah. Even though the input, look, so if you touch here, nothing. Uh, I'm kind of curious what the input is now. Oh, okay. So this one is the switch. And it's literally getting triggered by itself. So this could act just as magic move where like you don't need even need that the extra component which is the switch to state action. That this one doesn't even have it. It's just switching between two states. And here the lock screen is also pretty interesting. You go is this just a drug? component with some constraints here and if you drag it all the way to a certain area we know I think it has to go all the way then it switches to a different state and that the way the way that they're accomplishing this is by by the overrides um, so you have some sort of Override on drag end, you're passing up a function with an if statement. If it's bigger than the threshold, then animate to zero. 
No, I'm saying if it's not bigger, just go back. If it goes back to here, should trigger. This should trigger. So this is on, this is for the component. This should trigger if the point is bigger or equal to the threshold, and that's what happens. So this is the snap tab, which I, I always thought that it was interesting. So whenever you were here, this guy. Even area you over here, it goes to here. So look, so that's interesting. So whenever this goes over here, it goes to a specific state. It goes to this state. Whenever this one goes over here, it goes to this state. So this is using the switch to state action over here. And this one goes to this one with the switch action. And it kind of animates. Let's take a look. See? Ooh. Ooh. and that's animating here so the switches around this area so you create a switch and on top of that you're creating the switch like the switch action of those buttons or whatever you want to call it and you specify how they're going to be animated auto animate magic move and the auto animate based on the fact that this has the same names. So this has the same name as this one, as the same as this one, and this one is called the indicator. And the indicator just sort of rotates. That's kind of cool. I think that's very interesting. They have a lot of more things that you can play with. I definitely recommend you do this. Yeah, look, they have a horror animation, icon morphing which I think is kind of cool. This is not even SVGs, this is just frames. That's very, very cool. And this is the most interesting of all, because this takes, you can sort of see how they are using, yeah, there we go. So what's happening here? The switch is the whole thing. I don't understand what's happening here. So this is a switch action. And it goes over here. And this is a switch action. Okay, so this is a switch action. This is a switch action. And this is kind of like the switch. And the animation is auto animate. Ooh. Ooh. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sick. Let's detect deletion. Oh, it animates. I wonder how this animates. Auto animate. That's kind of cool. The auto animate is very powerful. Okay, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. There's, you should play around with these if you wanna. This chart looks intimidating to me, but you should play around with this. This component is called switch. Switch, be in the store. But these show core gif. Definitely something that you should favorite. All right. Bye. See you in the next video. Look, I have no battery. <laughs>